Deputy Tony Midlachlan. Um, thanks very much. Um, just to ask the Minister, uh, and I've asked the Minister on a few occasions in the past in relation to the new uh, regional uh, guard headquarters in, in Sligo, at, at Caltra in Sligo. I know, Minister, perhaps maybe there have been some uh, difficulties, not with the Department of Justice, but maybe with uh, the OPW in acquiring three of the sites, because I know it's a, perhaps maybe a, a public-private partnership for both um, um, Clonmel and uh, McCroom and Sligo, and I know that certainly there was an announcement in relation to McCroom and Sligo, and I was just wondering, was there a hold-up or is there a hold-up at, at uh, Clonmel in relation to the, the, the three uh, schemes that we're talking about, because um, there, there have been uh, concerns um, coherent there in relation to, by the local, also the GRA, in relation to the delay since the announcement was made. Thank you. I just asked the Minister. I thank the Deputy for his question. The Garda Building and Refurbishment Programme 2016 to 2021 is an ambitious five year programme based on agreed Garda priorities, which continues to benefit over 30 locations around the country, underpinned by significant exchequer funding across the Garda and OPW votes. In addition to that programme, other major works to the Garda estate, which are ongoing, include the pilot Garda stationary opening project, the development of a new facility at Military Road in Dublin, and the major refurbishment of Fitzgibbon Street Station in central Dublin. I would emphasise that the clear goal of this investment is to address deficiencies in the Garda estate and provide fit-for-purpose facilities for Garda members and staff, as well as the public interacting with them. As there has been some good progress in relation to the Garda estate in recent times, including in particular the completion and entry into operational use in 2018 of three new divisional regional headquarters in Wexford, Galway and Kevin Street, Dublin, which collectively required funding of over 100 million euro. In relation to Sligo, I can inform Deputy McLaughlin that the public-private partnership arrangement included in the building and refurbishment programme is intended to deliver new stations in Sligo, in McCrew, and in Clonmel, as well as a new custody suite at the Garda station located on Anglesey Street in Cork City. Site acquisition for this public-private partnership bundle has been complex. It's taken longer than originally envisaged. I've been informed by the Office of Public Works and Garda authorities that the OPW acquired sites for the development of new stations in McCroom and Sligo in 2015 and 2018, respectively. I'm pleased to say I'm informed by the OPW that all the difficulties in relation to the completion of the acquisition of the site in Clonmel were recently resolved, and that transfer is now also agreed. It was necessary to secure all three sites before the public-private partnership bundle could proceed to the next stage. The development of such projects is progressed under the auspices of the National Development Finance Agency. My department and the Garda authorities are working to progress this matter with the input assistance of the National Development Finance Agency. My department is also engaging with the Office of Public Works in relation to the assistance that it may be able to provide to the process, including direct engagement on the matter between the Secretary General of my department and the Chair of the Office of Public Works. And, uh, thanks, Minister, for the update, because uh, certainly I was concerned, and I know a lot of people in, in around Sligo, uh, and also the GRA and many others, uh, in relation to the hold-up at, at, uh, at the Clonmel uh, site, uh, was causing a, a, a delay and a difficulty. Uh, I know that at my request there recently that you, Minister, uh, visited the Sligo station. Uh, you met with, with um, uh, the powers that be at, at Sligo, and certainly at first hand had seen, at first hand yourself, the need for uh, the regional uh, guard headquarters, uh, the site, is um, very, very acceptable to everybody in Sligo. It's a very fine site, and I just like that uh, between the OPW, you know, that they have uh, acquired the three sites, that uh, it's a public-private partnership, and that perhaps maybe uh, going forward uh, in the not-too-distant future that we would see uh, progress uh, on that, Minister. Thank you very much. I want to acknowledge the interest of Deputy McLaughlin in the, uh, in the acquisition of the site for the Garda station in Sligo, and also ensuring uh, that the legal and technical and design issues can be dealt with as expeditiously as possible in order to ensure that the Gardaí in Sligo uh, have um, every, every modern resource available to them uh, in the course of their duty. Um, and one of those is, of course, a, 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 a modern and fit-for-purpose Garda station. I uh, have to say, however, 
um, and Deputy McLaughlin will acknowledge the establishment of the PPP projects is complex. Um, the details are technical. Uh, indeed, it's vital to get the details of the projects right um, at planning um, and design stage. So I wish to assure Deputy McLaughlin that the delivery of the new Garda station in Sligo, along with that in, in Clonmel and McCroom, through this PPP arrangement, is being pursued as a priority and wish to assure Deputy McLaughlin that I will keep him fully informed of developments. Thank you. Uh, I that. Here, just, uh, you know, I welcome uh, the, the Minister's uh, comments and certainly he has been very, very supportive and I must say, and to put on the record of the House here, that he has been very, very supportive to me and indeed um, to Sligo in relation to this new uh, regional uh, Garda headquarters. Uh, we are progressing and I think that it's, it's, it's only a matter of time and hopefully that um, we can see um, some perhaps maybe uh, in the not too distant future that we would see progress in relation to the, the start of these three. I know that there are, there are two others as well and they all go as, as, a, as a unit, the three um, uh, under the PPP. Uh, so I think that I certainly would welcome, and I know that the people of Sligo and the, and the surrounding area, and just to say that like, I, I acknowledge uh, the, wor the wonderful work being done by Angara Shikana in, in, in my area and uh, the work that's being carried out on a daily basis. And just to, to put that on record, Minister, and I know that you, you have acknowledged that yourself when you, when you visited the station there recently with myself in, in, in Sligo and met with uh, uh, the Chief Superintendent and various other uh, people within the, the Garda units in, in Sligo and the surrounding areas of County Sligo and Leitrim and, and various other areas. So I'd just like to say, Chairman, that uh, uh, I'm that, um, very, very pleased at the Minister's uh, response and that we will, we will continue. And I welcome the Minister's comments also that he will keep me informed as to uh, uh, the progress on that. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Minister. Hannah, final reply. Well, I wish to, to uh, assure the Deputy of, 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 of uh, a, um, a desire on the part of government uh, to proceed with these projects as quickly as possible. Um, and Deputy McLaughlin um, may wish to know uh, that as well as advancing the Garda station in Sligo, I'm um, informed that there's a total, of, a total of 52 vehicles allocated to the Sligo Leitrim Division as of March 19. This includes a total of 28 vehicles alloc allocated to Sligo District, 8 in Ballymoat, 16 in the Leitrim area. Uh, so I wish to assure Deputy McLaughlin, uh, that as far as the Garda Commissioner and his team are, is concerned, Sligo and the North West is very much a priority. Indeed, from a government perspective, both myself and Minister Moore and the Department of Justice, other departments and the National Development Finance Agency are anxious to ensure that the technical details surrounding uh, the uh, further uh, advancing of the PPP bundle can be progressed at the earliest possible date. Thank you, Minister. Number, uh,